Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm coming to you today, not with a product review, but a brief introduction to couponing at Target. Um, over the weekend, Target released um, their mobile coupons through text messaging. So if you do not receive Target coupons through text message, make sure that you log on to the Target.com site and sign up to receive coupons through text messaging. I'll put the actual link um, down in the description box that will take you directly to where you can sign up for that. But it's really cool. Um, Target will send out coupons sporadically to your phone and all you do is when you check out at Target you just show them the barcode on your phone and they deduct your coupon. Um, what's really cool with it is not only can you use your mobile coupons but you can also stack those coupons with manufacturer's coupons. So that'll give you more savings. So over the weekend, they came out with some really good coupons through the mobile app. And there were also coupons available on Target.com that were manufacturer's coupons. And there were also coupons in the um, Sunday coupon insert. So I'm going to show you guys a few of the things that I picked up at Target this weekend all right so um my picture may have not have come out really well so i'll just show you the items and how much i paid for it and all that good stuff so first of all my kiddo loves transformers darker the moon so the target mobile coupons had five dollars off and also at the target.com coupon site there was a five dollar off manufacturer coupon for any item that i believe was over $7.99 I think um, for a dark of the moon product so uh, my son decided to pick up this uh, bumblebee mask it was nine dollars and 99 cents retail so I was able to use my five dollar off mobile coupon and also my five dollar off target coupon for this item so my item turned out to be free i love free stuff um they had some dark of the moon items that were cheaper than 9.99 again i think the minimum price had to be seven dollars and 99 cents so the cool thing if you picked a product that was lower than the nine dollars and 99 cents you could still use both coupons so that would give you an overage, kind of like money back. But what you would want to do is just make sure that you have other items to eat up that overage, or they will only adjust that second coupon to the actual amount off of that, of that item. So let's say the item was $7.99. They would only give you the $5 off and $2.99 for the other I mean you would still get it free but you wouldn't get to have that overage if that makes sense so that was the first item um, the second couple items in the coupon inserts for this week covergirl had a great coupon it was eight dollars off two face products there was no minimum amount that you had to spend to get the eight dollars off so I definitely took advantage of that I picked up one of the powders from the um, CoverGirl Queen collection. I've never used the CoverGirl Queen co collection, but since I got it at such a great deal, I decided to pick it up. And then I also picked up um, a blush. So the blush was around, I think, $4. And the powder was around $6.99. So I ended up paying a little bit, a little bit for the two products, I think a dollar and some change. But I didn't care. I got two new makeup products for a dollar and some change because I got to use that $8 off to uh, face products. So if you still have your coupon inserts, great deal on these, go pick it up. And you could use it on any, any CoverGirl face product. You couldn't use it on lipstick, lip glosses, and things like that. But anything for the face, you could definitely use it. Um, another thing that I picked up that a coupon was available for were the Olay Regenerous line. 
I decided to pick up the micro exfoliating wet cleansing cloth because they're a little bit neater uh, than face wash. So the mobile coupon that came out was $3 off and in the paper there was a $3 off manufacturer coupon for the Olay Regenerous line. So these were $5.99 at my local Target and my coupon value was six bucks. So I kind of earned a penny on that, right? So that was really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that was my small haul with my coupon. So I ended up getting the mask, the face wash or the wipes, face powder and blush all for a dollar and some change hmm, you can't beat that so i decided with my new blush of course i needed a new brush so i picked up one of the elf uh brushes that they carry at target this was just a dollar so my total purchase without tax was around three dollars and 72 cents i believe so normally if I hadn't had any coupons, let me figure out real, real quick how much I would I would have I would have paid on this stuff. Um, so this would have been 10 bucks without coupons. Around seven bucks, so $17, 23, 24, around four dollars, so 28. All that I only spent three dollars and some change sweet right that's pretty awesome so um, again that was just a brief introduction just a very small haul uh, that I picked up at my local Target I'll come back later on this week and try to do a post on CVS because I need to do my CVS shopping as well um, but yeah I'll post a couple links that I utilize to see the coupon matchups and the coupon deals. I mean, if you don't want to search and research, there are some great references out there that you can use so you're not doing all the legwork. They actually do it for you. But me, I like to kind of shop around and see what I can get. So that's the deal for today. If this is something that you would like to see continuously on my channel, just thumbs up and I will concentrate on doing more videos over saving with Shanita. So you guys have a good one and I'll chat with you later. Bye.